When they were first mentioned in Alien Bodies, the Time Lord's foe in the war was called just, The Enemy, without any capitalization. This format was followed in the Book of the War and the rest of Mad Norwegian Press's Faction Paradox books. However, following on a brief uppercase reference to, The Enemy, in Unnatural History, the proper noun title was employed in later BBC books novels The Taking of Planet 5, The Quantum Archangel, and The Ancestor Cell, as well as the Faction Paradox books published by Obverse Books, most notably including The Book of the Enemy. Though Lawrence Miles originally intended the enemy to be an unseen and unknowable factor, by the time he finished writing Alien Bodies, he'd figured out exactly what was going on and why. However, moods changed, and he came up with a whole list of other possibilities. None of them were good enough to be the definitive answer, but eight were almost good enough, including a literally infinite number of monkeys and a whale king, fashioned after the rat king of European superstition. Miles intended to reveal the enemy's identity in his final Doctor Who novel, and he asked the BBC if they could publish a book where one single page had eight different versions, so the revealed enemy would depend on which book a person purchased. Range editor Stephen Cole shot down the idea because he preferred to keep the enemy's identity a complete mystery. In Unnatural History, the boy suggests that before the Doctor's history was rewritten, his primary origin story was that he had run away from his home in the 49th century after it was overrun by the enemy. The Breakspear voyage later confirmed that there had indeed been an enemy assault on the 49th century, lending credence to this statement. This is a metafictional reference to the original Doctor Who pitch document from 1963, some drafts of which suggested that the Doctor and Susan escaped their homeworld after it was invaded by the Paladin hordes who are still pursuing them. This reading thus identifies the enemy with the rather mysterious Paladin hordes. Although by all appearances not part of Lawrence Miles's design, this retconned, implied connection would make the enemy technically go back to the very earliest form of Doctor Who lore ever committed to paper, right alongside the Doctor and TARDIS themselves. When writing for the Book of the Enemy, authors were told that the enemy must originate through the agency of the Earth, must either be humanoid or have humanoid agents, and can't be the Daleks or anything else they can't get the rights to. As revealed in the Dalek Handbook, Draft scripts for Dalek stories in the new series identified them with the term, enemy, to keep their appearances secret. 